This is the Vivo S1 Pro, the new Vivo phone which emphasizes a diamond shaped rear camera composition comes as the latest model in the Chinese smartphone makers S series. S1 Pro is available in two distinctive color options in Bahrain that is glowing night and nebula blue. I have been using this wonderful device for the past couple of days and in this video I would love to share my views. So let's get straight to it. Let's start with a quick unboxing. S1 Pro has a plastic back panel with a glassy finish and aluminium frame which gives a smooth finish and adds a premium look. The phone weighs 187 grams but doesn't feel heavy thanks to the design for distributing the weight evenly. The boat shaped panel makes it comfortable to hold. Starting from the bottom. We can see the single bottom firing speaker, a USB-C type charging port and the main mic. Turning to the left, we can see a hybrid dual SIM card tray. At the right side, there are the volume rockers and the power button in blue color which is pretty good. And finally at the top, there is a 3.5mm audio jack and a secondary noise cancellation mic. It has a 6.38 inch Super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen display with a tiny notch. It comes with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels. This is a big deal because most mid-rangers do not have a Super AMOLED screen. There is no Gorilla Glass protection equipped on this but Vivo did install a screen protector over the display. The notch feels a bit older in the year 2020 as many brands started to replace with pop-up cameras or punch hole setup. Vivo S1 Pro comes with FHD Plus display which delivers vibrant and rich colors with good contrast, sharp details and broader field of view. Under the sunlight, the display was admirably good. Coming to the battery part, it has a huge 4500mAh battery which is more than enough for our daily task. To give you context, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro also has a 4500mAh battery and that is a flagship device. Don't forget to watch the review of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro in our channel. The link is given in the cards above. The Vivo S1 Pro does comes with an 18W dual engine fast charging technology. It takes around 1 hour to reduce the device completely. It has a fast in display fingerprint reader which is also unusual in mid-range devices. The sensors are precise most of the time. The face unlock is quick as well. Even in challenging light conditions, the Vivo S1 Pro was able to detect the face thanks to the screen fill light option. The Vivo S1 Pro is powered by the Snapdragon 665 octa-core chipset with Adreno 610 GPU. Though it's an average chipset at this point, being a mid-ranger, S1 Pro is packed with massive 8 gigs RAM and 128 gigs storage, which is expandable up to 256 gigs. I never felt any lag or delays while doing multitasking or regular web browsing. Gaming experience was too good. 
I have tried playing NFS and PUBG. The body doesn't heat and the performance was top notch. By turning on the ultra gaming mode in settings, you can enjoy playing games without any disturbance. Out of the box, the S1 Pro comes with Android 9 with FunTouch OS 9.2. Though the FunTouch OS is new to me, I felt it's good, clean and smooth. Inside settings, there is an option to control the dynamic effects in which you can change the display animations for fingerprint, facial recognitions and charging animations. Unlock and enter home screen animations can also be changed which is an added advantage. The dynamic sliding effects, dark mode features and shortcut customization adds more flair to the interface. Thanks to the AMLED's self-eliminating feature, always on display on S1 Pro lets you know of messages and alerts as they arrive, even when the display is locked. The call quality was good and clear. I was using the STC's 4G mobile data and Betelco's 4G home broadband services in Bahrain. Web browsing through mobile data and Wi-Fi services was smooth and fast as well. The device is advertised for its diamond-shaped quad camera setup. The device backs up with 48 megapixel main shooter, 8 megapixel super wide, 2 megapixel macro sensor and 2 megapixel depth sensor. And at the front, we get a 32 megapixel selfie camera. This device has a dedicated 2 megapixel macro sensor, which does a good job. It could have been better though, but provided good lighting, the camera can do the task. In the portrait shots, the images are pretty good. The subject background separation is very good as well. The portrait selfies are as good as the rear cameras, though the highlights look little blown out, but the actual selfies are top notch. From the 32 megapixel, we can take some good quality photos. The night mode options was available in the latest updates. The photos with the night mode option was great enough for a mid-range device. The images were sharp enough as well. Both the front and the rear cameras can shoot up to 1080p 30 frames per second. The sample you are seeing is taken with the S1 Pro. I wish they improve the stabilization soon. Apart from that, the camera does a great job. And to conclude my review, I am pretty much satisfied with the device. The FHD display, fast in display fingerprint, good cameras and a decent chipset surely makes a good deal. Currently the price in Bahrain is 119.990 Bahraini dinars. Limited customers will be getting a Sony headphones absolutely free. I will put down the best buy links in the description below. So that's it from me guys. As usual don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Also please click the like button and share it with your friends. Comment below your thoughts of this phone. Also don't forget to share your feedbacks and suggestions for our channel. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, this is Manish signing off.